The September event is right around the corner and we already have massive leaks for iPhone 14 series. And talking about iPhone 14 specifically, you might already be aware of the fact that iPhone 14 is going to be pretty much alike iPhone 13. So should you buy iPhone 14 if it's worth it and what's going to be the difference between iPhone 13 and iPhone 14? So this year's major news is that iPhone 14 is going to have the same A15 Bionic chip as the iPhone 13. I mean, I know Apple likes to take care of environment and this is why they like to recycle stuff. But aren't they taking it a bit too far? So this means that iPhone 14 is going to have the same performance as iPhone 13 and this alone can be the reason why most of the people will be skeptical about making an upgrade. But in the defense of iPhone 14, let's try to find out why would people make an upgrade over iPhone 13. Rumor is that the new iPhone 14 will have a better ultra wide lens which will let you take macro shots and will have better autofocus capabilities. Not just that, it is also rumored that it will have a better front-facing camera which will cost three times than that of current 12 megapixel front sensor. The new camera will have a better autofocus plus image stabilization and the quality that apparently will be that of RIDS camera. I think the rumors are a bit exaggerated but yeah, I can confidently say that it will be a perfect device for people who love to vlog or take selfies. Okay, I know I said that iPhone 14 will have the same chip as iPhone 13 and will offer almost similar performance. But that's not entirely true because iPhone 14 is rumored to have 6GB RAM to offer a better performance when compared to iPhone 13's 4GB RAM. So on an overall scale, performance on iPhone 14 will be slightly better. But it would be safe to say to not expect a major leap in the battery size. However, Apple last year did go leaps and bounds ahead in battery size, so we never know what to expect. Okay, so if you talk about screen size and screen quality, a lot of things are going to stay the same. It's going to have the same size, it's definitely not getting 120Hz refresh rate cause it's limited to the Pro models only. But it's rumored that the new iPhone 14 will get a couple of nits brightness. Okay, so let's recap. The iPhone 14 is going to have the same chip as iPhone 13, but with a slightly upgraded 2GB of RAM. Talking about the battery life, we have absolutely zero leaks at this point, but a better battery can be expected. And last but definitely not the least, the design is going to be almost similar as that of iPhone 13 with having diagonal camera module on the rear. So what do you think? Is iPhone 14 really an iPhone 14 or is it just a 13S? If you know what I mean. Do you think it's worth to spend a couple of hundred dollars extra and get the iPhone 14 after the iPhone 13 has been discontinued? Do let me know in the comment sections down below. I'll be eager to know your thoughts. That is it for this video. If you liked what you watched, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button and download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store if you like to stay updated with everything app. This is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.